All right, this is my rigging. We're gonna give her a try. See how she goes. Which is certainly what I was afraid with, with some of the spacing in here. Squishing the rubber right now, yet. all that pressure on that hole right there. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna come up a little bit different rigging. I'll just pause it I suppose. Okay. Got the new rigging in here. We're gonna give this a try again. Yeah, well, it's just, I, I was going to have this whole base like this at the bottom of it, but the way I'm trying to yeah. rig this in here. Because I only did this, I could... I only intended this whole flat base to be on that. I was doing it backwards. So I was trying to not do it that way, but obviously the way the sucker's setting up in here is different than I anticipated and wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might, I might just cut that sucker off. <laughs> yeah, the cutoff wheel. And then I could just use like a big flat something yeah. or or a socket or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, if I, I bet if I even just cut it off right here, yeah. then with the, then I can put that other socket on it, yeah. and then I'll put this other big flat piece of bar, the bar sock, so it won't bend it. Yeah. I guess it was just giving in. Okay, so we're gonna do a reset again. <laughs> okay, so I cut the bottom of this off because that rigging didn't work. So now I just have the heavier flat blade against it. And we're gonna, we're gonna make a go of this. See if it'll hold straight and push through.
<laughs> that was way easy. I've used some of that ball joint frequency press. Those things are, Jesus. Yeah. Even with it on there, I had to pull like ridiculous hard. Yeah. Okay. Now. If I can just. All right. Well, I got it most of the way under there. I'm just getting a little something to pop the rest of the way out. At least we know it's work. But now we just have to do the other part and in reverse. differently and put the jack on the bottom that side right. oh I was like man that all that pressing made oh I forgot I was grinding on it <laughs> okay here's the final bit of it looks like oh geez that's all I needed was one <laughs> <laughs> See, I like, I like I could do this camera, I mean, I, on my phone here, because I can just pause it so I don't have to do so much editing later. Well, I mean, it's not that I don't want to GoPro or something, but. Okay, this little fixture is a little bit different. We're going to try it on this side here. See if it comes straight. Still too tall? Yeah, I think this, because I can still wiggle this and I, all this other stuff had pressure on it, so I, I think it was still hitting the top all right. of the cutoff part. Oh, yeah, sorry. Is he okay? He'll be fine. Okay, let's see. That was good or perfect. That's pressure on now. Oh, let me see that again. I wonder if I gotta grind the sucker out more or something. Sorts of pressure on that fucker. Should have come up by now. I thought we just do them tabs. Yeah, they'll just grind the whole sucking top thing off like this flat. Yeah. That way you know it's good. As a sea watch this shit, I bet it's under some stress. It was fairly it 
you know, just mash down on like four corners. Yeah. Sorry guys. Sorry. I got cold. Like almost cold. Don't you dare fall out. What are you working on? The car. The car? Okay, but what part of the car are you working on? I'm working on this. What is that? It's a bolt. It's a bolt for what? I don't know. It could be the ball joint. No, I don't think it's a ball joint. Wait, I think it's the Pitman arm. <laughs> nope. So. Those are just parts that I bought for other stuff. That's the sway bar. Those are just the bolts for the holder, retainer, whatever you want to call it. Is it coming out? Does it look like it? I don't know. You can see I have you top, doing it. You can see the top of the bolt right here. Okay, get it all the way out. Scotland. Thank you for that useless bit of information we don't need right now. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad you know things, but I want you to know how to do this. Oh, come on. Yep, already oh. sounds like me. <laughs> Are you my helper, bud? Yeah. Yeah. You're too busy trying to play a game or whatever. I was going to have to play Minecraft on my computer. No, you, you weren't supposed to play anything because you had other cleanup you were supposed to do. Dad's taking a break because it's too... I'm tired. So I'm letting you have a break. Or have a spell. I'm let... I'll be back. He's working on the car! What do you want? Okay, back today we're going to finish the left side here and run through this video of trying my home-built Universal Arbor, which happens to just be a ball joint press this time. The fixturings aren't the best, but I figured I learned how to... I don't know on the camera. If you stack better, I probably don't have to cut the sucker off. Hopefully, as long as I get enough... Uh, uh, space and stuff there. I might have to change the fixtures, but uh, you know, that's probably fine. Uh, let me check. I gotta make sure this is gonna fit in here. Oh, I keep having some of the fixtures not right, so I ended up. I think over maxing, I, I think. I'm, I'm gonna give this one a try again. Actually, I was just getting ready to do this one. But we're testing this frame. I wanted to get some uh, good footage of this. And truth be told, I'm still, this is still incomplete, obviously, because I, I would want to have um, uh, some better uh, fitment. Uh, some ways to sort of hold this stuff in in place and stuff. Let's see, it's, just, it's a little bit difficult, but this kind of difficulty, I'm still saying for me, is still way better than what I'd have to be dealing with otherwise. I'm gonna have to. Oh, I, oh, I know what else to use. I think this will fit. Oh, dang it. No, just a hair. For. 
I found out these, these are really good spacers. <laughs> This way, just stay real good out of my way. There, I don't think it'll fall that way either. All right. I realized last time, I think my big thick plate, I think I bent it a little bit too. But I, I found out my welding and all this uh, structure will hold up to a 12 ton jack, so I guess I'm pretty happy with myself there. <sighs> okay. through isn't it okay that's okay I got a good equipment fixturing and oh. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have that kind of fun today okay let me fix it Losing everything. Sorry. Trying to put this on a mount. As I know in YouTube land anymore, that seems to be. Yeah, you got it. Better have a. You better have a stand because then if not, you get a lot of criticism. I don't blame them. You know, it's just. Just testing things out, but if you start doing a lot of testing and you said you're gonna put videos out there, you should probably get a stand. Rig up something that'll stay put. I don't know, I guess it doesn't do any good talking. People probably don't want to hear me talk. I just want to see this thing work. Since I probably fast forward some of this anyways. Reinforce the bottom of this a little bit, I think. Okay. Now, hold on a second. I forgot to get that all cleaned up a little bit better. I think I tried, I just didn't do very good. Pause this for a second so I don't waste time here. Okay, we're gonna try to go with this. Oh, geez, that was about as easy as it could be. I don't have to take that much. I got a triple handle, it wasn't that hard at all. <laughs> this thing's, I'm liking this, I really am. I get it set right like this. Oh yeah, it goes real nice like butter. And it didn't break on me because I didn't figure out the right fittings, fixtures and stuff like that before. And I could have busted these welds, but I welded everything pretty hefty just to make sure. Yeah, I gotta come up with a little bit of better fixtures, smaller tube thing or something. 
<laughs> okay. I found just a carrier. Well, I believe this is some sort of transaxle thing, if I think right. But it has this perfect little matchup right here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with this. And I think it should be able to push through the, the sizes up there. Yeah, I'll get it straightened out just a hair. Uh oh, where's my oh of course. <laughs> There's a surf fitting on top of it. I was just, it was still moving, so I kept going. Well, you probably crushed it. But, what I will do, just a hair more space, I'll get this other connecting rod. Okay, didn't have the clearance before, but I certainly should now. Alright. Let's see if it'll just go through, if it'll hang up or not. Not quite as square as I want to be in there. Okay, yeah, see so now I can I scooted it up just a hair for this fitting. I should be able to. Okay. I don't like that. It's this rig. I, I I do like it. I just need a better way of holding the fixtures and everything in place. But I do like it because it is uh, the pressure is just straight up and down instead of trying to torque it and everything twist because you're using the C frame thing. All right. So I'm gonna. Uh, reset and I'm going to do the bottom one 
I gotta do some grinding on the sun, so it'll be just a little bit anyways. Okay, sort of have a fixed ring here. Resetting it. Okay, we're gonna try having ever go. We had these these engine bearings that worked for me last time. I'm not. I can't just find a piece of two because he kind of need it. I was trying to just use this without it, and it might be different for each one. This one just seems to be a pain, uh, just because of how this lower control arm is shaped. I don't have a good flat area. I ha you have to have almost like a piece of pipe. And I just don't have anything that seems to be super right. I think it's going to deform too much of me this time. Crap. something else something to brace that up a little bit differently I want to find something I might have to just all right so I'm gonna do another... okay so I just tightened this up because it actually is right about the same size and what I'm gonna do is just put this in here as a shim I ground that down a little bit and I'm gonna see if this works so it's, it's the, the frame's good. It's just all about the fixturing and stuff. Yeah, see, that's all I needed. I just notched it out. I'm like, I got the grinder right here. What was I thinking? Way showing it, not the way I really want to do it because I don't, I didn't get all the proper fixtures. At least for this, the top one was easy. This sucker, yeah. So I just notched it and just put a little piece there to hold it on this side because this is like sort of a wedge back here, and I just needed something to hold in the front so it wouldn't keep sliding up, and then I could keep the, the pressure on there. And then that was fine. God, I did all that for. <laughs> but yeah, I need to just get. I don't know if I want to buy the kit because I just don't have the money for that. It was all this was all about just I had some scraps and I come up with this idea to just use the bottle jack, which straight up pressure on the bottle jack better than the around for the the C device. And then you have to I don't know I had to really kind of wrench on them sometimes some of those before. This was like well the six ton would probably be enough, but I think I got issues with this four and six ton. This twelve ton was definitely way more than I. I needed so all right I'm gonna uh, reset again clean up and then I'll probably show some footage of uh, putting the, the new ones in just because the fixtures are different and it was easier usually Yeah, let's 
these uh, so I'm gonna get everything straight. Make sure it goes in there. Twisted where I can see if I can make a go with this. Trust me, this is. <laughs> You don't have any of these things straight, it don't matter what tool you got. Uh, so the bad thing is I don't have a lift. So next time I try to do this, in theory, if I ever have to do this again, then it'll be real easy to come off. Okay, so put the snap ring on to get the next one. Yeah, figure I'll show just a little bit of this. I'll try not to use the language. That'll be alright. It's, it's just a little bit of setting it up is so. all. Dress this up because uh, they're not heavy duty enough. And I'll do some more modification to get that part going. And some of this one I think was a piece of cake, but I, then, oh, I should have screwed it out. That's fine. Didn't realize I was. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully there should be some good footage. Yeah, I'd probably just need to rig it up a little bit so I could uh, 
have the jack or something to kind of hold. I thought about a bungee cord, but I'm constantly shuffling around. The, the toll worked fine. It was just finding all the right sockets and pieces here to do the fixturing. I mean, I guess I could possibly get a kit, but I got plenty of these scrap pieces of round work. <laughs> just made something of my own. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. So, but I, you know, I got this universal tool that I'm, well, I'm gonna do some more modification, strength at the bottom part. It, it was still, the thing held, but when I put too much on the flat pay, plate without the reinforcement, it bent it. But nowhere critical, like around the welds or the other piece I was concerned with. Yeah, uh, it just, the metal was just too thin. And I put too much, uh, local force on it. I just put a big heavy plate on it, weld it, and it'll do good. So, it'll be alright. But I certainly like this a lot better than some sort of C-frame thing, although if I bought just the the cups, I'd have been fine. I mean, I got kind of cups with the, with the sockets and uh, all sorts of pieces around here. So, it was just the problem is get, figuring out this one. Once I get everything up there and kind of hold it in place, put a little bit of weight on it, then it, it's good. And I think it was a lot more efficient because I have a lot more force I could put on it. And uh, and the thing held. I mean, it obviously held, so it, I didn't have nothing broke apart. And I, I could, there was a couple times I pulled pretty hard on this thing and it done good. So, all right. Well, we'll see how much. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, well, anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed that. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, comment and like and all that good stuff. Thanks. Bye.